morning. It is uh, May the 9th, 9th of May today, and I'm out here with uh, Grant LG. Grant works for Haggerty Creek, obviously, and uh, we've got something, we got something very unusual today, something that actually, I think we're ahead of the curve, maybe ahead of the U.S. a little bit. That would be something for Canada to beat the U.S. I love it. I love it. Anyway, Grant, do you want to tell us what's going on here? Yeah, so behind us, if you can see in the distance there, there's a machine running. And if you can also see, there's no cab attached to it or anything. So that right there is a fully autonomous planter and weeder. So we have it planted in this field. It's about a 25 acre field. We're planting it into sugar beets. And that robot right there, it has a toolbar on it with some seeding units, we'll see later. Um, and it, it will plant the whole field fully autonomously. It's solar powered, so it has the opportunity to run 24 seven, charge the batteries during the day with the, with the sunlight, and then those batteries will run the robot through the night. So we started planting this field uh, last Friday. So it's been running about 60 hours on this field so far, and it's just a it'll likely conduct it up the uh, It runs very, very slow, but the idea is there's nobody there that needs to monitor it. You can come by in the morning, fill it up with seed, let it go for the day, come back summer time, fill it up with seed through the night, and then it's good to go through the night. So fully autonomous, the only user input is to press play at the start of the field, and that's essentially it. So you're seeding just the tooling, fit your seeding depth, um, crop residue levels, that kind of thing, and then it's good to go for the day. And you, you monitor this thing with your telephone? Yes, yeah, it's all monitored through an app on your phone or through, through a website actually, so either on your phone or a computer or anything like that, and it'll show you where the robot is in the field, um, different statistics, like how much of the field it has done, how fast it's going, um, seeds it's detected, um, how many errors it's detected, whether the seeding tube is plugged or it's missing too many seeds as it goes through, which will tell you that the hoppers run out of seed and tell you to go refill, um, battery level, that kind of thing. Will it stop if it runs out of seed? Yes, it does. So you can set a threshold. So if it misses so many seeds out of the last 100 seeds it plants, it'll stop the robot. So we have that set to I think 20 seeds right now so okay well maybe we'll take a scoot out and see this thing yeah for sure perfect so what it's doing here it's turning around yeah so it just hit the end of the field it lifted the tool bar up and now it's going into the next pass so it's gonna uh, stop about right there go ahead a little bit it'll lower the tool bar down and it will start for coffee. It doesn't stop for coffee. No it coffee? Like coffee no. <laughs> no coffee? What about, no, it doesn't, it doesn't care whether it's 35 degrees out here with the sun beating on it all day. It's happier than ever. So it doesn't have to have eight glasses of pop or no. no. Two donuts. Doesn't need that. And, and it doesn't smoke either? No, it doesn't smoke. <laughs> no cigarettes? No. Unbelievable. <laughs> It's moving along right now, and you might be able to hear some clicking as it goes. So that clicking, at the bottom of this seed tube here, there's a little valve that opens and closes. So every click is the valve opening, and then underneath that valve, there's an electronic eye that senses whether there's actually a seed there, or whether it has skipped a seed. So based on that, it knows the location of every single seed it plants and every location where there's a seed skip. And then it uses that location of every seed that it plants. And these weeding arms on the front of the machine, there will be a hoe that mounts on there later after it's done planting the field. And that weeding arm will move in and out of the row based on the seed location. 
weeding in between each row and also in between each plant in the row as well. Grant, that's the part I can't believe that this machine knows where every seed, every single seed is in this field. Yeah. yeah. It is hard to believe and it's pretty amazing that the technology has advanced to that point and it uses that seed location to essentially weed the whole field without any chemicals or Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. And that's why I'm out here because when I heard about this machine, I said there's no way, no way this thing will remember where every seed is. But we're gonna find out. We'll find out in a couple weeks. I'll be back when it's when it's uh, whole. So solar operated. So a big solar panel on the front here. Powers the batteries down below. Um, you have your user interface on this screen here, uh, joystick to steer it around manually. And on the front there, there's a little gray box next to that GPS beacon. That's a rain sensor. So that you can set a threshold. So when it receives so much rain through such a period um, that it shuts the robot down so it's not running through muddy conditions. So if we got a surprise rain this afternoon, it, it would stop. It would stop. Yeah. And uh, these little uh, Well, your receivers are for GPS. Yes, they are. It all operates off of RSK GPS, and essentially that's that's the only sensor on board. There is a there is a wire around the outside of the robot, so that's for safety reasons. In case it bumps into anything, it'll stop. Um, yeah. So it's going to keep going. It does about a little under a half an acre an hour. So it does take quite a while to plant a field, but there's nobody out here doing it, so they can be doing other things. The other thing, too, Grant, is uh, this is like uh, the first one, not the first one, but this is early technology. It is, it is. This company, they're a company based out of Denmark called Farm Droid. So they started back in 2018 with their first um, first robot available in the market. And there's about 250 or more of these robots running over in Europe right now, but this is one of two in Ontario and one of three in Canada and North America. So it's not down in the U.S. And they'll only get bigger and faster. Exactly, yep. Battery technology is improving very quickly, and so is, so is solar technology as well. So. Well, one thing we didn't talk about was money. So this robot is about a planting conditions. So we tried to push it a little bit when the soil was a little bit sticky and it just plugged everything up just like a regular planter. So good soil conditions are just as important with a robot as they are with a, with a traditional planter. We tried plant the last Friday and our planter didn't work either. No, no, no. It doesn't like mud. No. I don't think anything likes mud. No. And that's where that rain sensor comes in. She'll shut her down. Well, Grant, this is great. I'm glad we could get out here today. Yeah, there's been, been lots of attention, lots of people gawking at it from the highway. Because, uh, Wondered, what the heck is that thing? Yeah, exactly. So this, this will be here all season, all season long pretty well. Once, <clears throat> once it's run through the field, done planting, it'll start right back up and it'll start weeding. So cultivating in between the rows and in between each plant as well. So, so like you were saying, no chemicals here. No. It's just gonna be weeded yeah. and fungicide. Yeah, the fungicide will be the only chemical on it. It's herbicide at all. So very little input. Um, once you get past the price of the robot, there's very little input other than seed and then uh, and then fertilizer as well. So. And really, one guy could watch a whole host of these things. Yeah, exactly. So once you get them set up and going, um, yeah, you can monitor. Who like knows how many? Or ten, a yeah. handful or a dozen.
dozen of them. Who knows, yeah. And that's where it'll be in the future. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's the idea is to get a whole swarm of them going going on a few fields at the same time. That's where you really get into some interesting capacity. Well, anyway, and I'd like to thank uh, Haggerty Creek and you, Grant, for taking the time nope, to come out here today and show us this. I know I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot today, and I hope the wind isn't too bad. Um, and if it is, hey, we can always come back when you're weeding. Yep. And I'll get out here again when you're weeding. I'd like to see that. Yep, definitely. See that work. Definitely. There'll be lots of time for it. So. Yep, great. <laughs> Thank you.